So clouds increasing overnight, a dry start to the day, but rain develops late after about seven or so, and then uh, temperatures will take a dive as that system sweeps on through. So looking nice for Thanksgiving. If you're staying within the New York City area, heading to the parade, it looks good. So far, so good. So we are in the 40s right now, as you can see. So it is quite chilly, so I definitely will add those extra layers. The heavier coat is definitely a good go for tonight. Here's a look at your radar. Dry conditions again, as I mentioned, that high pressure right there, staying in control, but we are tracking that area of low pressure centered in Canada. However, that draping cold front, that is going to be the culprit, providing us with showers ahead of that, We're already picking up some lake effect snow. So if you're heading to the Midwest, the Great Lakes, you may encounter some delays if you're going to be taking any flights the early part of the week uh, and even in tonight into tomorrow. But for us here, let's take a look at what you can expect. So increasing clouds, there you go. And as you can see, showers start to begin sometime later in the day at around the 7 o'clock hour. There you go. And it looks scattered to start, and then things will start to fill in. Maybe a little bit of a mix happening in Ulster County, but mostly rain for us all around. So throughout the overnight period, the rain comes through. It starts to taper off by early Monday morning, the eastern end of Long Island, the last to get it. And in terms of how much rain, on average about a tenth of an inch to about a quarter of an inch. We're not talking about super soaking rain, but again, the main concern will be falling temperatures thereafter and those gusty winds. So let's talk about those falling temperatures. So about 45 by tomorrow morning and take a look. We max out at around 55. So nice mild air courtesy of that southwesterly flow. But here's a look at what to expect. Look at the contours shifting from that uh, green to the blues that are taking over. So Monday morning we'll hit our high fairly early close to around midnight anytime between midnight and about four and then temperatures will take a dive thereafter in the wind chills. Wow, it's going to be really, really brisk. So take a look at those winds that will be gusting into the teens and then eventually switching gears is becoming more northwesterly. There you go. And this is when we'll have those travel concerns. You think it's high here, uh, points further east. We're talking about winds gusting to 50 to even 70 miles per hour if you're going to be traveling to the, the Midwest, the Great Lakes region, for instance. And even, even further than that, into the Rockies, we're looking at those gusty winds. For us, close to around 30 to 35, 40 miles per hour. So it is quite gusty. And just so you know, uh, if you are taking any flights, you definitely want to call ahead just to play it safe. I know LaGuardia tends to be notorious for those arrival delays because of winds. But other than that, we're dry. If you're staying here in the area, Tuesday through Thursday looks fantastic. Our travel day, Wednesday looks great. Just a little bit on the chilly side, but we do dry out with some more showers arriving on Friday. But, Kaidi, it looks good for the uh, parade.